just got off our big bus and we're gonna figure out how to get up the big hill. Hmm. We found some kind of information sign. A couple of lions. I'll leave the statues. Yep, I think we're in the right spot. It's a hot water spark in the form of juice. Ready, Clark? Let's go for a walk. Things you do for a picture, eh? So what we got here is a lion killing a giant snake. They're very proud of their lions around here. Alright, onward and upward. Ah, okay, stage one checkpoint. We've made it up to the first little bit. where we started and that's where we're going by this beautiful fountain we're climbing in style here no stairs on the Buddha castle Castle. It's looking really castle-y, isn't it? Well, don't tell me they've got elevators even. Okay, we're trying to find the way up. Clark seems to think he's found a way. Wow, this is really like a castle. That's because it is a castle. Buddha castle. Whoa, there's a, you see that building up there? Yeah. That one with the like aqua, like dark aqua, grayish roof. Yep. Round, semicircle. Yeah, there's a, like a golden cross at the very top. Yeah, that's the main basilica. All right, so got the Golden Bridge, Parliament House. There's St Paul's Basilica. Uh, Marriott's over there, and we live just near the Marriott, just over there. Yep, we're climbing up Buddha Castle. Pretty impressive for, so far. Got a great view, great walk. Beautiful day, it's about 22 degrees and sunny. But we're about halfway up and we're panning already. Buddha Castle is hard to describe, it's getting more and more epic the higher we go. Looks pretty ancient, all these um, orders and cobblestones, you really feel like you're in a castle. Yeah, this is way cool. Okay, so here come the million dollar views of Budapest. Are you ready for this? Yeah. 
uh, our place is just behind the Marriott, just there. And we have to walk down there, catch a big bus about there. Well, we found this super cool bridge to walk along. I guess this is where the guards used to walk or something like that. Yet another amazing view. Lots and lots of tourists. Big statue of some guy at the end. And that's the place we were just at before. So as it turns out, this statue is, who is it, Clark? Mathiah. Yeah. Who is the and I'm sitting here, next ancient to the saviour edge. of Hungary. Yeah, Clark. And I'm sitting here at the edge. Clark's a bit of a danger man at the moment. If I'm just there, it could be the end. One metre from the edge. Will he survive? I think he will. <laughs> so we found these things called sorbents. We're not really sure what they are. What are they? Ice cream. Ice cream. So we found a scale model and information and stuff. We're just checking out where to go and finding out a little bit about this castle. Oh. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so we just figured out there's some kind of art gallery here in the palace. We're going in for a look. We make the grand entrance into the art gallery. Whoa. Wow, it's a really big art gallery. We're on the second floor of it and it's still going up. There's just so much amazing art. Old Roman art. We're at the highest part of Budapest we're likely to get. We're right at the top of Buda Castle and the National Art Gallery. Way down there is where we were a little bit earlier. Nice view of Chain Bridge, Parliament House. Parliament House is over there. The Golden Bridge is the island. Ah, continuing our journey. We just come from up there somewhere. About there. Now, we're going to, oh. Let's go through to the courtyard. Now, oh, yeah, here's the back of the museum. It's quite pretty as well. Back of the art gallery, I should say. Got this awesome statue fountain thing. Wow. You know how much. Oh my gosh, Stefan! Someone threw you one of those humans. So this is Matthias, the old king. Matthias is a bit of a legend around these parts. Now it's time for a quick history lesson while we're here. This palace dates back to 1243. That's a long time ago. As we continue our epic journey, we head on up to the next awesome staircase up to some building which we're not sure the name of yet but on the way we can admire the view of Parliament House and the Danube River
Wow, you can just imagine time's going by.